We were lucky enough to have uh, Dr. Buchanan and uh, Carol and, and Buddy Jordan come through the office, studio. Um, we'd been talking to him about developing an art program uh, it's called Sculpting the Future. And then Buddy shared with us about 508 Park and what was going on there. And um, we got real excited. I Personally, I've, I've worked on restoring about 27 courthouses in Texas. So the historical bug has bitten me. When we look at a mural, we look at it as a narrative, a story that we can tell, and we have 10 windows to tell our story in. And that's when we started to peel back what was the story, what could we tell, what was important for that area, and what was going to be coming. So it's sort of one foot in the past with an eye to the future for the potential. And we decided to really focus on 1936, and in particular, we were inspired by artwork by Alexander Hogue and Jerry Bywaters. They were both important artists at the time, and Jerry Bywaters is the grandfather of Pat, who's involved in this project. The process is to start with the written word, and the written word tells us the narrative, and then from that we can go to uh, sketches from there, just like uh, an, an architect, you know, you have to sketch out a building and then you go to the actual renderings and the scales. Well, we started all the way back with sort of the beginnings of, of Dallas, you know, a little bit of that. You know, this is the first house slash post office slash trading center. So the, the center panel is um, sort of taken from Jerry Bywater's Trinity Viaduct painting, where it's a bit of a populist uh, view of what, what can be um, showing many races uh, along with the work that's going on the development and the, the building of the city. It was important to us to start way back at the beginning. At reference, we quickly moved to 1936, but our last panel is definitely about art. We wanted to build towards art knowing that it's leading up to the entrance of a museum. We thought what would be fun is having perhaps um, Alexander Hogue and Jerry Bywaters in our mural itself. So we show them in our last panel on a scaffolding doing some painting in Fair Park. And then what happens is we take, and this has a frame around it, but we take a clay, um, a, a soft clay that's squishy, and we've taken and sculpted this little quadrant, blown it up out of here to give us the style. And then what would happen from there is a mold would be made, and this is a little, little hard to tell, but this is a mold of this piece. And then from that we can use the lost wax casting process and generate a wax from this piece of, at which that that would be cast in bronze and then welded and put back together. And then in the end, a, a final patina would be put onto it. And then because of being in the street, we'd probably worry about uh, graffiti mitigation as well and make sure that they stay that way and everybody can enjoy them for a long time. Another key element in the design here is to not only portray what was in 1936, to, but to pull some of what's going on today because what's going on in the street today is just as important as what was going on in 1936.